Hello everybody, welcome back to The Beer Crody. My name's Chris, welcome back to my beer reviews channel. How are we all? Hope you're doing well. I've had a good day, the wife's out of hospital. Uh, she's come home today, so I'm in a different room today. Just trying not to disturb her while she's recovering. Uh, so I do have this little fish tank in the background bubbling away, so I hope that doesn't sound too loud on the video. But anyway, let's have a look at the beer we're looking at. We're looking at the beer from Amundsen, or Amundsen Brewery, and this is the Hazy Session IPA. Chuggernaut, look at the artwork on that. Isn't that fantastic? What great little artwork that is on there. Lots of fancy artwork on beers these days, isn't there? But that one is proper fancy. Uh, it doesn't say a huge amount on the can, other than it's from Amundsen Brewery. Not much in the way of a write up on the back. This comes in at a 4.7% ABV, uh, so not a strong one, under 5%. Uh, and a hazy session IPA at 4.7. I'd say that's that's a session IPA, isn't it? At 4.7. Uh, so have another look before it disappears out of the shop. But let's get into a glass. Let's get into a glass. See how she sniffs. See how she tastes. Let's get her in there. It's going to pour the whole lot into this. sounds very well carbonated very well carbonated this glass is quite fresh out the dishwasher still a bit warm this glass the beer's chilled though look at that what a lovely color that is look how hazy that is that is super hazy isn't it that's as hazy as your memory on a sunday morning after a heavy saturday night isn't it proper hazy really really nice color Nice light straw colour, but proper hazy. Very, very nice. One figurehead dissipating quite quickly. Can't really see any levels of carbonation in there. It's just too hazy to even notice whether there's any carbonation. But anyway, let's see how she smells. Oh, that smells different. That does smell different. Definitely, oh, I don't know. Definitely piney going on, definitely got a pine to it. A bit, of a, a bit spicy, almost a bit of a spicy smell going on. Sweet apples is what it is, I'm getting the apples. Yeah, to start with I thought it smelled a bit, a bit, um, not acidic, but a bit almost cidery. Kind of a bit of a cidery smell to it. Bordering on vinegary, which is probably the, the spicy part of it. But definitely, sort of, yeah, a, a, an acidy sort of apple smell. With undertones of spiciness with the pine. Yeah, that's quite a new, it's, that's quite a new aroma to me, that is. It is the first time I've, I've had a beer from um, Amundsen. Can't pronounce that word properly and it should be really easy to pronounce shouldn't it and when it's done uh, it came from marks and spencers i don't very often shop in marks and spencers um probably because it's quite expensive uh, but marks and spencers they do good food their clothes are shit, but their food's pretty good and, and as the wife was coming out of hospital today she wanted some fruit so i thought i'd go to m s and, and get her some some really nice fresh fruit normally shop in places like aldi and asda and sometimes their fruit isn't always the freshest so i thought i'd Go and get her some Marks and Spencer's fruit to cheer up. So while I was in there, obviously I'm going to have a look at what beers they had. So yeah, I picked this one up in Marks and Spencer's. I think it was £3. I picked up a couple of others while I was there as well. But anyway, enough of the rambling on about Asda's and Marks and Spencer's. Let's see how this tastes. Um... Yeah, that's not doing much for me. Um, yeah, that's not doing a great deal. Um, definitely piney. Reasonably nice mouthfeel. Uh, low, low levels of carbonation, moving things around a bit. It's definitely got a, a, a spicy kind of, a little spicy kick to it. Not as in a chilli heat. But it's definitely got something spicy in there. I'm definitely getting that. Spicy with pine is what I'm getting. 
Let's try some more. I'm just staring down into it, hoping something's going to pop into my head, but there's not a lot going on for me on that. Um, I've not looked at any other reviews of this, so I don't know what other people are saying. But I'm looking for inspiration in this glass and it's not coming. There's no inspiration coming out of there. It's great looking. It's proper hazy. But flavour wise, there's, there's not a lot going on. It's almost a bit, yeah, it's the, oh, I don't know. I don't want to use the word acidic, but it's a bit of an acidic appleness going on in there with pine and, and spice. Um, it's not great. It really isn't great. But watch other reviews. See what other people are see what other people are saying. I'm a bit disappointed because I didn't know I didn't know if I was going to do a beer review tonight because it's been a bit of a a funny day with going and picking the wife up from the hospital and making sure the kids are okay um, and this is quite late in the day for me to do a beer review so I wasn't going to do it but I just loved the artwork on that sold by the artwork that's what happened there sold on the artwork and it just kept every time I opened the, the fridge I could see it so I thought oh I'll do a review I'll do a re review before I go and have a shower and before I go to bed I'm a bit disappointed now should have chosen one of the many other beers I've got um, it's okay. Let's just go again. Let's see if anything else happens. <coughs> Excuse me. No real bitterness to it. Um, no real dry feel. It's just piney, spicy apple. Is, is what I get. I mean, the apple isn't super strong. It's not a, a strong apple flavour. Uh, I was expecting more from it, to be honest. Um, yeah, there's, there's just not much going on with that, to be honest. Would I recommend it? No, I wouldn't recommend it, but others might. So crack on with other reviews. Uh, don't, don't go by what I say. I mean, I'm only a small person on YouTube, only a few subscribers, so I'm sure you've probably watched others. Um, but yeah, for me, it, it's not great. Um, on a hot summer's day it might be nice but we're a long way off from being on a hot summer's day again bearing in mind we're at the end of October it's alright it's not fantastic in my mind um, but yeah go and watch some other reviews that's all I've got on it really the spicy apple with a bit of pine that's about the best I can do on that I'm afraid um, but I'm always going to be honest um, I'm not going to say things are great if they're not it's, it's not great for me but it might be for you taste is subjective Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.